Well, folks, just thought I'd give you a final update for the day. As you can see here, put some light in there. I got the plug out. Woohoo! Started Saturday. It's Sunday afternoon. I started Saturday morning soaking it, tapping it, soaking it, tapping it, using the air gun, using the breaker bar, working it out. Only problem is, and one of the one of my concerns was that I would go ahead and get it out, but it would end up destroying the threads as I was getting it out due to it just being old and rusty. And sure enough, as you can see on this plug, it goes right in there, it destroyed the threads. So what does that mean? That means I now no longer have a plug that I can install in here. I'm not going to force that in there because then my luck would be that I mess up these threads. And then what's going to happen is we're going to end up having an exhaust leak at this point. And honestly, kind of already suspect that this is another area that we were dealing with an exhaust leak from. So I now have no choice but to go ahead and order this plug because you cannot buy it over the counter. Ford calls it an exhaust manifold plug. That's all it is, exhaust manifold plug. I got to order it from the dealer. It's going to take a day or two to come in. So I will do that first thing Monday morning, Just run into town and order that plug. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and get the exhaust manifold installed, the exhaust system along with the cross member, and I'll start running all my checks and all that other stuff. But what I absolutely will not do is start this vehicle with this exhaust plug not installed, okay? I'm gonna tell you why. If you're just starting a vehicle to check something and you're running it all for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, 60 seconds tops, then there's really not a big deal on today's modern vehicles and engines with starting them with an exhaust manifold off or a massive hole in the exhaust system or what have you. However, today's modern engines are not designed to run like the 350s, 357s, 420s of the past. And with, the, these, with these aluminum heads, the way they cram everything inside of these engines, wires, all that, you start an engine and try to run it for an extended period of time with a hole like that in the exhaust system, you're liable to blow something up, damage something, catch something on fire, you name it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and work around this the next day or so and get all this finished up. So that way the only thing I have left to do is get in there and install this plug. And then once I'm done with that, uh, as you can see, I actually have a service kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and service that transmission and then once I've serviced it and got everything up to snuff, I will hopefully be done. It's just, this has been the story of my life on this rig. Every time I turn a corner and I'm getting ready for the home stretch, something like this has to happen. So, oh well folks, that's the life of a mechanic. All right guys, well once again, thanks for hanging out with me. Stop by, check out a couple t-shirts that I got for sale if you feel like it. And thanks for supporting me. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.